Inaccessible peaks in out-of-the-way places, or bulldozed banks with a parking fee and a place to change. The raw and the cooked, the fresh or the rotten, the choice is yours. And choose we must, because today we have one bike and two riders embracing very different mindsets and only a short time to construct the ultimate blueprint of just how much fun you can have in one hour. Welcome to the wild wet hills of Wales and the one bike, the remote 160 DL, which Kona have sent us to tackle two very different routes in our power hour head to head. Now there are four models in the remote range, hardtail 130 mil travel and two 160s. As I mentioned, this is the 160 DL. It's all alloy chassis, 29 inch wheels, 160 mil travel, uh, Shimano EP8 motor and a 504 watt hour battery. Right, I see you later. I'll be back in about an hour. Ish. Being a dad of three means my riding time is super limited. I've become a bit of a master at the power hour, so come and join me for a ride where we cram in as much riding as possible. Right, that time is ticking. We better get cracking. makes light work of some heavy traffic en route to the local bike park, but gets sucked up in some more urban activities, concrete cliffs and, well. it means so many different things to different people. As riders, some of us might want the pain and fatigue of a long single track ride at a trail centre, or we might just want a hardtail for messing around in town. But many of us, on the other hand, need to get away, as in really get away. Big remote mountains, just like this. Right, we've just arrived at the free ride spot and one thing you definitely need to be protecting is your head when you ride somewhere like this and luckily enough my cameraman has brought my full face helmet along so I'm going to keep protected and be able to turn that dial up that little bit more.
way Steve is having this much fun. Chris, I don't know about you, you're messing around in those bulldoze quarries. I got dynamite quarry. for grip, looking for lines, ugh, and dodging rocks, but still, great place for problem solving. It's pretty crazy what you can do on this remote. And as Kona say, where will your EMTV take you? The Kona remote has brought me here to Wind Hill Bike Park, one of my favorite local riding spots. I've got a little chunk of time left and plenty of battery left too. So I think it's about time we stuck some laps in. I think I'm gonna stick it in boost mode for this. Well, it's 160 mil is bang on for the bike park, it's bang on for the streets, and it's bang on for the free ride action. Time for another lap. Hour done in the history books. It's been an amazing day out. We started on the streets, went to some free ride spots, and of course got a few laps in on the bike park. And every power hour is different. What mode you ride in, where you ride, and how you ride. I'll be mostly in boost and trail mode for this session. And talking of trail, I wonder how that old man's getting on up on the mountain. For most of us, our EMTV must suit the terrain in which we ride or aspire to ride, and luckily the remote is that adaptable bike. For me, an hour is all about smelling the bracken, the sheep mm -hmm. and getting to see some horizons. It's about working out unmanufactured fresh lines, often with tech and always with mud. Chris has proved that yes, fun can be had in a short space of time with a young family maximizing his ride time opportunity and yet raising the adrenaline. But the remote can remodel itself into a different pony, a wilder one for those small but big adventures. And as a time-space converging machine, it does that too. <laughs> 